Public policy is a broad term that affects many areas of our lives. It includes the laws, decisions, and inactions of government officials and agencies. And it's common that organizations don't get public policy right on the first try. There's a lot at play, including the complexity of the problem they're trying to solve, the availability of data, and public sentiment. But one of the main reasons organizations stumble when developing public policy is that they approach the issue from a departmental view or with old narratives that taint their approach. For example, legislation on criminal justice reform may have drawn on the perspective of law enforcement as a single input. The reality is that a solution may need to come from multiple disciplines. Challenges such as homelessness, opioid addiction, and housing affordability have demonstrated the value that different departments bring to the table. But how do you get everyone together around a common language and goal? Geographic Information System, or GIS, is key. This location-centric technology is shaped by a theory that we can connect disparate thinking through location. GIS has come a long way from groups using a series of paper maps to visualizing and analyzing data to stimulate conversation. For example, seeing the connection between high crime rates and high density development can alter long-range community planning guidelines. GIS enables strong public policy. Government officials can effectively layer information from different disciplines and ask questions that can be further explored through tools like virtual 3D modeling. Approaches to more comprehensive and effective public policy have received a boost from various movements or emerging trends. They include the open data movement, which showed the value of sharing openly with all stakeholders the issues the government was tackling. These web-based approaches help educate the public on the complexity of the issue, empowering them to offer new approaches for problem solving. With the push to make data open by default came greater calls in the public policy space for transparency and accountability. These words became synonymous with putting the data to work to demonstrate where money was being allocated, provide benchmarks for measurement, and present information in new ways the public could better understand and offer their feedback. And now a renewed focus on social and racial equity is raising new questions about equitable outcomes. Answering these focused questions requires more than basic demographic profiles. To consider how a policy impacts at-risk populations, governments need to better understand neighborhood by neighborhood whose economic mobility is impacted and who has consistently been left behind. Improving the civic health of communities is the ultimate goal. As leaders embrace GIS for public policy, it's important to recognize the difference between a map and a policy map. A map provides a backdrop for potential data to be considered and visualized, but a policy map shows the viewer opportunities to intervene, whether it be applying regulations, funding, staffing, or resources to prioritize areas precisely where they are needed. Policy mapping provides a platform for improved policy making in several ways. The benefits include increasing access to data and opportunities to pose different questions, analyzing information to expose historic gaps or the need for new approaches, enhancing collaboration with subject matter experts across disciplines, educating the public on policies and their impact on the community, and allowing policymakers to test and visualize theories before implementation. GIS empowers governments to ask not only why this is happening, but why this is happening here. Public policy guided by place-based intervention ensures communities can prioritize their efforts block by block, stream by stream, or highway by highway. Visit Esri Maps for Public Policy, the free online resource where you'll be able to access data to get started with your policy research, find training resources, and explore best practices from your peers.